What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm trying to edit my video. I, I restarted my computer and I got the blue screen of death. Hopefully we were able to fix it. Let's go ahead and find out. And if I upload this video, that means I fixed it. If I didn't upload this video, that means I definitely did not fix it. So you wouldn't be seeing this video unless I fixed it. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna start up my computer just to show you what's going on. And we're gonna get the blue screen of death coming up. You know, so the BIOS is fine. It's just a computer is booting up. There he is. And as soon as he tries to boot up the Windows 10 operating system, and it crashes. So it could mean that you have something where um, there's a connection um, or it's not detecting your hard drive. If you have SSD like I do, then it might not be detecting your SSD. So I upgraded for my uh, upgraded my hard drive and I cloned everything from my hard drive using the Samsung uh, cloning software and cloned it to my new Samsung SSD. And every once in a while I'll get this blue screen and it's error code 0XC and there's six zeros and an F for FU. Your computer's effed up. So I have my Windows 10 USB stick and we're gonna try to fix this issue so but like if you hit enter it says hit enter try again and you hit enter try again nothing all right and i hit f8 i say i go into f8 and then the f8 nothing okay enter nothing that's what you get hit escape when i hit escape this is what i get uh it boots up like that it comes up boom there we go so we're actually in the alienware this is the system, uh, the motherboard, uh, all the settings that are on board, on the main board. And you go on to boot up. All right, so let's boot. And then you look right here and it says my boot. And I click on this and I want it to be my Windows, okay? And then my Toshiba is that USB stick that I have plugged in and I click on my hard disk priorities okay and it's not it doesn't look like it's seeing my Samsung SSD so for some reason it, it, it's I, I, it doesn't know that it's there so how do I get it to find my Samsung SSD so let's go ahead and hit exit and I'm not gonna change anything quit all right, so we we're back at this screen. So now we're gonna try to use this to repair the computer. So we'll plug that in. This is the recovery. This is the Windows 10 for my computer. And I'll plug that in right here. And go ahead and restart it. Turn it off. Now you can also unplug the computer for about, you know, you can unplug the computer right here, the power for the computer and then hold down the power button for about like, I don't know, 10 seconds and that will discharge all the capacitors and and then plug it back in and see if that fixes your issue. Well, we'll see, we just let's start it up, okay? And then from this right here, we're gonna see if it fixed that issue. And then I'll show you the other possible uh, ways to fix it. So that's just one way. All right, so step one, reset your computer. Step two is use the um, Windows 10 recovery drive that, uh, that your computer should have came with. All right, so now let's go ahead and turn it off and then we're gonna turn it back on. Okay, so we're gonna start well, with step two. Step two, turn your computer, hit F12. Keep on hitting F12, F12, F12. And it tells you F12 right here. Keep on tapping F12, make sure, there it goes. So we're, it's in um, the boot up sequence right here. And let's go ahead and access the, it says UEFI Toshiba. Well, wait a minute. Look at that. This is really weird. It says Samsung SSD. 
by hitting F12, I'm able to access the Samsung SSD, which is strange. But I'm going to go ahead and show you this method because this might um, help you. And right now it should kick in. It takes like maybe a minute. There it goes. So it's accessing the USB drive right now it's with, um, for my computer with Windows 10 on it. And it should boot up to the troubleshooting. Come on. Oh, oh there we go. Cool. So English. Select USA. Select troubleshoot. Now there's three troubleshoot me methods. Let me go ahead and zoom in and show you. All right. So we got reset this PC and lets you choose to keep or remove your files, then reinstalls the Windows in case it's uh, the Windows drivers are broken or whatever's wrong with Windows. It reinstalls it, keeping your files, which that's pr pretty good. That's handy. Now, we're not going to do that, though. Recover from a drive. It reinstalls Windows from a recovery drive connected to this PC, which we have plugged in. This will remove all your files and apps and then reinstalls Windows. We're not going to do that. So I'm going to click on Advanced Options and you can do a system restore. So right here, system restore, use a restore point recorded on your PC to restore Windows. Well, if you haven't created a restore point, that's not gonna work. So what we wanna do is we're gonna go to right here, startup repair, and click on that. And right now, it's diagnosing your PC. And this is actually step number two we're doing. And then I'm going to show you step number three. So it's trying to do the repairs. It's shutting down, looks like. And it might go into the blue screen of death again. Let's see. So if this step, the second step doesn't work, I'm going to show you the third step, which works for me. See, boom, this is where you get. All right, so let's go ahead, turn that off. Turn it back on. All right, hit F12. Keep on hitting F12. F12, boom. And right here, when you hit F12, for some reason, it says boot up. I said boot mode is set to UEFI. Secure boot is on. And then it actually sees my Samsung SSD right here, which is good. And then I select that with the mouse, double click on that. And then you can, if you're getting that, that means it's going to load into Windows 10. See? Boom. It works. So guys, if you found this video informative and useful and it helped you out, go ahead and post a comment below saying, hey, thanks, uh, help me out. Let us know if it worked or whatever solutions that work for you. Post a comment below. Um, click on the share button. If you know anyone that is having this issue, share this video with them and help, help someone out. And click on right here to subscribe to Tampa Tech for future videos like this, easy tech fixes. And click on this, this is my TV repair and electronic repair playlist right here. Give me a big thumbs up if this really did help you out.